Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. It's been amazing to see the growth of our channel and um, how you guys are responding and uh, replying uh, with your comments to our videos and just your encouraging words and I just wanna thank you so much. Since we do have some new subscribers and since we have people that have been with us for a while who don't really know much about us, I just wanna take the opportunity to just kind of give you the backstory to Farm Life Outfitters. So, in May of 2016, actually prior to that, um, in January, I guess, Adam and I separately started talking or thinking, not talking, but <laughs> thinking about talking to ourselves, I guess, about uh, a t-shirt business, a graphic tee business. And we've, um, Adam has owned his own business before and I was blogging at the time but um, and I actually saw the blogging being a good source of income but it was just in the baby stages and um, he and I both um, felt like it was time for us to start planning towards Adam being at home full-time with us on the farm building the farm up um, being able to make it sustain our family and hopefully those of our neighbors and community also and um so as we were thinking about this and it it just it was just a very strange uh anything anytime things like this happen we just say well it was just a god thing because um he was listening to some podcasts which led him to some person which led him to another person who ended up um, being a graphic tee business guru and doing trainings on that and stuff. And so he started listening to some of that, th that stuff. And um, <clears throat> at the same time, I was feeling like the blog was just not really taking off the way I wanted to. Blogging, if you've ever blogged, blogging is extremely difficult because it takes a very long time to get everything set up the way it's supposed to be um especially for people like me who are not very tech savvy um and uh to actually write the blog post to get them formatted the right way um then to get the word out so that people can see them and if you're trying to make money at things like that then um you have to have ads on your um on your posts on your website you have to use affiliate links like it's 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 a massive undertaking um i don't want to discourage you if you want to start a blog <laughs> but um it is a massive undertaking and i think if i would have stuck with it and done it for a while then um eventually it would have been profitable but um because both of us were leaning towards this graphic tea business we really felt like this is where we should concentrate our attention so um we started thinking what do we want our graphic business to be about I mean um, and we saw a need in the market so that's that's where um, most people get their business ideas is when they see a need in the marketplace and we saw a need for cute simple graphic tees that depicted the homesteading life country farm um, old-fashioned lifestyle that's what we really wanted to be about and um, almost immediately I started getting ideas and I started sketching some things and um, a lot of people don't know that my my background is in graphic design and um, and I never I got to use that a little bit um, I did an internship at the North Carolina Zoo and got to design some of the um, um, some of the displays that are actually still there so it's really cool to take the kids there and um, and say hey mommy mommy took those pictures mommy designed that sign you know and stuff like that so that's really cool uh, but I was not there for long it was just a temporary job anyways it was an internship and um and then um, I did some other things but it was nothing like a full-time graphic design job and I'm not even sure if that was really something that I I wanted anyways <clears throat> so um, I got to use some of my creative skills and come up with some different designs but lacking the equipment that I needed the programs that I needed because I haven't been in graphic design professionally in a long time 
Um, I hired a friend of mine who is a graphic designer and, um, and gave her my sketches. I said, this is what I'm thinking about. Let's see what you got. And she came up with, with our first designs, which this was actually my very first design for a t-shirt. So this is The Good Life, and this is actually still our number one selling t-shirt. Um, <clears throat> but, um, and I love it. This is this is probably my favorite. This is my go-to. This is actually what started Farm Life Outfitters. So, um, but, uh, so she designed our t-shirts for us, um, that first run of t-shirts. And, um, then we made our website and we waited and we um the most nervous i've ever been was on may 6 of 2016 when i announced to the facebook world that we have started a graphic tea business and um here it is it's farm life outfitters come and check it out come buy our t-shirts you know see what you think um <clears throat> and so at the time we were printing on demand only. Um, there may come a season where we revert back to that fully, but we right now we have all of our teas screen printed uh, locally uh, by amazing screen printer. And um, but those were printed on demand uh, because it was so expensive to have them printed on demand anyways. We were not making a profit on anything we sold. Basically, we might have made two dollars per t-shirt maybe um and we tried to go with a t-shirt blank that i thought was cute and i liked um and it and it was on the cheaper side but as it turned out it was not the best quality it was not something that when people got the t-shirt they're like oh i got to have 10 of these because i love the quality so much so um so as any business does it evolved we worked some kinks out we figured out what was working what was not working and now we um i feel very confident in saying we provide very high quality uh, comfy t-shirts for our um, customers and i'm really proud of them they are the kind of t-shirts now that when people have one they're like i've got to have 10 of those in my closet you know at the beginning it was very very slow we were not um, selling many t-shirts. You know, we were doing the happy dance every time we got an order, which was like maybe once every three weeks or something. And um, so that can be discouraging when you're first starting a new business. But if you stick with it and you know you've got a good product, um, you just learn to get better and better at marketing and, um, and always improving your quality of your product. So once we knew we had a top-notch product to sell word started getting out we started approaching influencers in our niche and um, seeing if they would help advertise for us and several of them did this is actually how I met um, my good friend now um, Rebecca uh, Rhodes and Justin Rhodes and um, I had just approached them about t-shirts so you might see on many of their videos that they wear um, a lot of farm life outfitters t-shirts and <clears throat> and since then we have developed a relationship a friendship and we really um, genuinely love them <laughs> and um, we even had one of our t-shirts worn by one of the kids in the Robertson family like the Duck Dynasty Robertson family um, in an episode of the Jeff and Jessica show that spun off from Duck Dynasty on A&E this was back in the early days of Farm Life Outfitters and it was just like wow like it was one of those times when I was getting kind of discouraged uh, and just a little down about sales and that kind of thing and just should I keep going or should I just pack this up and it was sort of like the Lord saying to me I see you I know you're still there I know you're still working hard on this and here's like a little you know here's like a little kiss from me <laughs> so it was really cool it was so fun um, then I felt like a couple of years ago, I felt like the Lord was asking me to speak and I am not a speaker. I hated public speaking in high school. I would rather have done anything else but have 
to have stood up in front of a class and read something that I wrote or anything like that. But um, I really felt like the Lord was calling me to speak and teach uh, in some capacity. So I got connected with our local small business centers um, in a couple of different counties, actually three different counties, and um, started teaching some small business classes to uh, some local business owners. And it has been a joy. I have loved every minute of that. I felt like that was my calling. Um, I'm still continuing to do that. Not quite as much this year as I have. We are expecting a new baby. Um, but um, it has been a pleasure and a joy. And I love teaching these classes. I love being able to relay the things that I've learned in the past four years of the business to other small business owners who might not have thought to utilize certain tools in their own businesses. So, um, we have done all kinds of events. We have traveled to other states for events. We've um, done very uh, high profile, expensive events for us, like the Mother Earth News Fair and um, Homesteaders of America. And those have been a blessing. We've met a lot of new customers, a lot of new friends there. And um, then we've done some local events also that have blessed us too. We're continuing to grow our platforms. So obviously you guys, YouTube, um, our Instagram, our Facebook. We have a couple of different groups on Facebook. One is a health group uh, that's just Farm Life Outfitters Natural Health Community. And then we have a Friends of Farm Life Outfitters. So you'll have to look us up on there. And then on Instagram, we're just at Farm Life Outfitters. So you can look us up. We're uh, very close to hitting 8,000 subscribers or followers on Instagram. And um, I'm pretty proud of that. Instagram is my, by far my favorite platform besides YouTube. And I enjoy spending time on there. So I'd love to see you guys over there as well. But... Um, yeah, we've got so much. We've got so much going on. I feel like Farm Life Outfitters is always evolving. It's always changing. Adam and I just met this past week together, just talking about the different aspects of our business, where to concentrate. I'm actually writing a book this year, um, and so I'm really excited about that. So it's it's hard too um, because with a business like this, where you've got so many different moving pieces it's hard to concentrate on one thing so i've just started doing something different with my time management where i'm picking a certain day my friend amy fuel at the fuel homestead actually encouraged me in this just to pick a certain day to do certain things so that's why you might only see a video from us once a week it's because i have a youtube day i have um, i can film throughout the week as things happen or things come up but as far as editing and uploading there's a certain day for that um, there's a certain day actually today is the day where I'm gonna spend the afternoon working on my book writing my book and then uh, tomorrow I'll be working on doTERRA so I have a doTERRA side to our business also where I do essential oil education and um, I enjoy that as well so it's 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 just a lot uh, so I really have had to kind of step back and just really I'm not very good at multitasking so I have to really Concentrate on one thing at a time so that I can be as productive as I possibly can. So um, Yeah, so that's where we are. We have a farm um, Oh my word, I just looked out the window literally right now. I'm looking at the window and my children are crawling around in the cow pasture right now I'm watching them crawling around in the cow pasture I don't know what that's about um, <laughs> but um, I never know I never know what's gonna happen when I look out the window never um, so we have a farm we have geese and chickens and cows and sheep and pigs and rabbits and a dog and a goat and a cat uh, guineas lots of guineas you can hear them in pretty much every video we do um, but this is who we are we 
we are going to have a huge tomato season this year this summer um, early tomatoes hopefully we've got them started in the greenhouse you might have seen some of our videos where we are really just concentrating on tomatoes this year and providing our community with lots and lots of tomatoes we just planted transplanted 640 into bigger um, soil blocks and um, we're excited about the harvest of those this year we're actually excited about the whole process because this is new to us like we we grow tomatoes not on this scale but um, we're looking forward to providing our neighbors and friends uh, in our community with some good high quality tomatoes that are grown uh, well so um, but we raise our own meat we raise obviously eggs because um, we have lots and lots of chickens um, yeah we just enjoy this life so circling back to why we started farm life outfitters in the beginning we we knew god had put us on a path to get adam home uh that this is his life's calling we believe um and we want to be able to support that calling financially and so um farm life outfitters has been a vehicle for that uh, it is still a vehicle for that. We are not, um, we have not arrived at that yet. We do feel like that it is very soon on the horizon and we're excited about the possibilities of that. So please, I'm asking for your prayers. Um, please pray along with us that God will provide um, the means for Adam to leave his corporate job and to be able to do this full time. That is our heart's desire. That is what we know God has put in there and it has not left us. So we are continuing to believe him for that. So through everything, through the process of these last four years, we don't know how long it's gonna take for us to arrive at that point where he's gonna leave work. We're gonna work full time together here, but um, we're enjoying the process and sometimes we don't enjoy the process sometimes we get very tired of the process as any one of you might know if you've been working on something for many many years and you're just not seeing the fruit that you thought you ought to see from it by now that's where we've been many 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 times but i believe it is truly one of those like let's just put one foot in front of the other let's keep working on this thing this thing that has um evolved and changed and has provided for us in many ways other than monetary it has provided lasting genuine relationships and friendships with people who uh, we truly adore and um, we have met some of our closest friends through farm life outfitters so for that I am forever grateful um, we have so much more coming coming up we we just love to see this business evolve and we love to see where it's taking us. We do believe it is a vehicle for where we want to go and so I'm very thankful for it. If you've enjoyed this video, just getting to learn a little bit more about us and our background, the background to this uh, business that we have, then um, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I would love to hear your questions because Adam and I are going to do a uh, like a Q&A video coming up where we want to hear from you. We recently did a 10 homesteading questions video and um, I'll link that in the description. That was really fun to do. There were just like just some get to know you questions and we'd like to continue doing those from time to time just so you guys can feel like you authentically know who we are and it's just fun. It's just fun because sometimes we'll surprise each other and say things that we didn't really even know about each other so um anyways uh if you will leave in the comments some questions that you would like us to answer in a future video then we would love to answer those for you so i hope you've enjoyed this if you have any questions for me just send me a message you can send me an email michelle at farmlifeoutfitters.com we have all of our information in our description of our videos so we've got anything we've got our email we've got our mailing address we've got all the different um ways that you can reach us as far as our different businesses uh doTERRA and farm life outfitters shop and all those kinds of things so it's been great talking to you guys today and we'll see you next time bye